friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So I am so excited because I am filming this video in my favorite little spot here in my new apartment that I've just moved into. I just moved in last week and I still have tons to do. There's boxes all around me, but I thought I would do a little vlog just to kind of show you around the place, do a little bit of antiquing. I think I'm going to go to one of the antique malls today. I have a lot of furniture that I need to collect for this space because I am moving out of my parents' house. I don't know if you guys were all aware of that, but I did not have a ton of stuff over there. So I am looking for a bookshelf today. I would like to put in the corner of the living room here and just a few other things, any cool decor that strikes my fancy. So this apartment was built in 1923 and it is just exactly what I've been looking for. If you know anything about me, you know I like vintage, I like history of homes, I like anything like that. So this is the perfect little place for me and I'm excited to share it with you because it is just so cute. One of my favorite things about this apartment already is that it has so much sunlight and I'll show you more of that a little bit later because there are a lot of windows. So I'm looking forward to all the good lighting for lots of sewing videos in this upcoming year. And speaking of sewing, I need to find some furniture that will work well to create a little sewing space. So lots of things to look for, but I think first things first today, I'm going to head out to the antique mall and see what I can find there. So I have been playing around a little bit with some of my artwork that I have, trying to set up some galleries. I used a lot of different floral themed things here, but I think I want to change the frame on the Rifle Paper Company print. My mom gave me a bunch of old frames that are gold, so I'm going to try putting one of those on there. We'll see how that looks. And I also wanted to show you guys my pride and joy that is my new rug. I got this from Rifle Paper Company. I ordered this right when I found out I was going to be moving in because I have dreamed about this rug for a long time and I just love the colors in it and it's so, so soft. So this is kind of where I'm going to draw all the color scheme for the living room from. And here's the reason I need bookshelves because my entire floor seems to be covered in boxes like this full of my book collection. So we're gonna see what we can find. So we've had snow and ice for the last week and I really thought that it was going to be warm today because it's sunny and I got in my car and it's saying it's 28 degrees. So I need to thaw out a little bit. I definitely did not dress for the weather today. <laughs> So no luck here at the first antique store. Most of what I was looking at ended up being pieces that were for display and not for sale because I was looking for shelving. Um, so there is another store that's like furniture specific that I think I'm going to check out. Not necessarily today, maybe tomorrow, kind of depends on timing. But I have some things in my car that I got from Home Goods yesterday, so I'm going to run those back home and kind of set those up. And then we will see where we go from there. about painting the town red i'm coming around there ain't no doubt about it i'm no longer blue so glad we are through just me myself and i i just added these gold frames that are old ones my mom had to the rifle paper company prints and i feel like they look so pretty i especially love the way the yellow one looks in the gold frame and then I'm trying to decide. I have this print that I bought in England and I feel like this frame is a little too modern for the rest of them. So I might get something new that is a little bit more traditional looking, but I'm still playing around with the layout here. I have baby me right here because I love this picture with the flowers. So um, I'm still trying to decide, but we're making some progress. So this is my first home goods find for the apartment. This little lamp was on sale for $15, which I thought was a really good price. I'm a little concerned because this seems kind of wobbly, so I need to make sure that it's all secure and working, but I think it's so cute with the crystal once I take all of the labeling off and everything. So I think I'm going to use this on my nightstand and I think it's so pretty. I just have a bunch of stuff up here on the mantle right now while I'm trying to figure out where everything will go. Um, these are my little dogs from Anthropology. If you've read the third of Anne of Green Gables book, these were inspired by the dogs in Patty's Place. So I think they're so cute. <laughs>
Good morning, friends. So I have quite a few things that I'm hoping to accomplish for the apartment today. I'm going to start by going to one of my favorite places to look at furniture is this used furniture store. And I've actually tried to go twice in the last week. On Sunday, they were closed. And then yesterday I tried to stop by and their power went out right as I opened the door. So hopefully today is the day, the third time's a charm. But I did see they have this really cute mid-century modern coffee table in the window. So I'm curious to check that out. And then I also am hoping to maybe find some dining chairs. I was recently talking to my dad and he was telling me that I am able to take what was his grandmother's dining table and it's really beautiful. It's a round wooden table. So I want to see if I can find something that will complement that. So I'm going to start by heading to the furniture store and then I should have a few deliveries coming in today for some small things around the apartment. So I'll be sure to show you that as well, but let's go see what we find. So this is the coffee table that I am kind of thinking about. Not sure if you can hear me over the traffic, but let's go investigate closer. I think these prints are so beautiful. This back room is so interesting to look through to me. It actually really reminds me of my great grandmother's house growing up. Look at this like ancient trunk. And then there's just like old house materials, like windows, car door, all kinds of stuff. Pretty glassware. I was just telling one of my friends how I can't find a set of cutlery that I like. And I really like the look of mismatched silver. And then here's a set, so I might. Okay, so a very successful shopping trip here at this place. I'm very excited about what I found. So I will head home and unload everything and then show you what I got. The gentleman who works here helped me load everything up, which was so nice. And they're just so nice at this place. So if you're ever in Little Rock or North Little Rock and need some furniture, I very much recommend this shop. and it took me a couple of trips back and forth from my car to get everything inside but i've got everything here so i'm so excited to show you what i found i've done so many thrift hauls over the years but never a furniture haul so this feels a little different to be holding a piece of furniture but the first thing i got are these dining chairs i got four of these they actually had more but there were slight differences in tone and the others and i think four was the number that i wanted to find this is very similar to what i already had in mind for a dining chair so i was so excited to find these they are solid wood and they even say on the bottom that they were made in the USA with USA labor and materials, which is pretty cool. They were $75 each, which I felt like was a fair price for a solid wood chair. I bought a little bit of furniture wax and polish, so I'm going to polish these up when that comes in the mail. But I think they're gonna be a really good fit and I just love the style. Now this particular one, I don't know if you can see here, has this little scratch, but I'm hoping with a little polishing that will go away. We will see. Now, since I've been in the market for flatware, I realized I'm very picky about flatware because I have not found anything that I liked other than on the Magnolia website, they had this like mixed vintage silver set, but it was $40 a place setting and I'm not about that life. So I thought, what if I could find mismatched vintage silver somewhere for a little bit cheaper? And that's what I found. I found this box full of old silver. It was $100 for the box, which again, I felt like was a fair price. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, but it's got some beautiful pieces in it. So this is one of the patterns. There are more than 12 knives in here, but it is a bit mismatched on the different styles. Um, so we'll kind of see, I'll have to count it all and see what we have. But I think it's so pretty. This one is a little bit more like mid-century looking, which I think is so nice. So anyway, this is so much more my style to have something mixed and match and just kind of quirky like this. So I'm excited about it. And I even think the box is really pretty as well. I don't know if this is just something that the shop had kind of put together from old sets that were mismatched, but 
um, for the number in here, especially when you compare it to that $40 place setting, I think I got a pretty good deal and I'm excited about this. Okay, and don't mind me while I try and lift up an entire coffee table to show you, but this little guy is the mid-century coffee table that I got. I'm gonna set it down because it is kind of heavy. I am really pleased with it though. Let me turn the camera around so you can see. So this is what the coffee table looks like. And I really like the color of it with the wooden floors in my apartment. I think it goes together really nicely. Not exactly the same, but it's still that light tone. So I think it looks nice from the rug onto the floor. And then with this little lighter coffee table, bringing it together. I love the mid-century design. This was marked 250. They gave it to me for 200. It does have some little nicks and different things on the top of it. But I'm fine with that because I think it's cool to have an authentic mid-century piece. And if something like this was at West Elm, I know it would be very expensive. So um, yeah, I felt like it was a pretty good deal for this as well. So all in all, it was $600 pre-tax for four chairs, a coffee table, and a box full of silver. So here's what we're working with at the moment. I've got the mid-century lines in both the chair and the coffee table, but the sofa that I have on order is a lot more kind of classic and traditional. So I think it will kind of balance out once that's in place, it's going to go right back here and none of this stuff will be back here either. So, um, so we'll see how it all comes together, but I like the size and I like the height of the coffee table in this space and I think it's gonna work well. I really wanna add some little things to style it now. So I'm just trying to estimate about how much space the table will take up in here so I can get an idea of how it will look. I do feel like I'm going to need some elements in this room to break up all of the wood because the table is wood as well, but I love the style and the shape of the chairs. This room is going to be both the dining area and my office space, so I'm hoping that this little corner full of junk will work out well, and we'll see. I may need to kind of push this back a little bit to create a little bit more space, but yeah, I think they look really nice in here. Just playing around with a few little styling elements here. I really like the vase color along with the book color, tying in the rug colors. I think I want to get a candle that I've had in the past and I think the colors would look really good with all of this stuff. Also, of course, flowers for the vase. Okay, I'm so excited because I didn't think this delivery was going to come in until I got back from work tonight. Um, but this should be a stand for my record player and records. And one thing that I'm really excited about is setting up a little station for my record player and records because I love using them and just having them out will help me use them more often. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, I think this is so pretty. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's just this little like metal wire stand from Urban Outfitters. And so you can put the record player on the top shelf and then there's storage for I think 20 albums down here on the bottom, which is perfect because my collection is quickly outgrowing the storage that I have for it. So I'm gonna set this up with the record player and let's see how it comes together. I was a bit concerned there for a minute because I definitely measured my record player beforehand, but it just is like an exact fit for this stand, which I actually really like. But at first I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to fit on there, but I think it looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my favorite albums down below. These are all Christmas albums. So I need to unpack the rest of mine and get this filled up, but I love how it's looking so far. Natural.
I last filmed for this video, but I have a few updates to show you guys around the apartment. First of all, I got a little bit of artwork up on the wall here. This is the wall where I am hoping I will put my piano when I get it moved over here. I have an old upright piano and I think it would fit really nicely here. And this is also an interior wall, so I think it will be nice to kind of contain that a little bit. But I put a few of my favorite things up here on the wall. I have some Rifle Paper Company prints and then my baby picture. Um, and then some little vintage prints. This is a photo I took in London over here. And then this is a picture of Jackie Kennedy that I tore out of a book. And then this Audrey Hepburn one I tore out of a magazine. But I think they look really nice with the whole collection. And then a few other artwork pieces that I have put together but not hung up around the walls yet. I had framed a few photos from my recent London trip last year. I edited these to look like vintage photos. So I added a lot of green to them and I think they look really neat. I have a few others as well, but I only had two more of these old gold frames from my mom, so I'm going to find some other frames to put the rest of the collection in, but I think that will look really nice in an arrangement on a wall. And then this is something that I've had in my mind for years. I love the movie Sabrina. This is probably in my top five favorite movies of all time. It's just one of my absolute favorites. So I love this old poster of the movie Sabrina. So I ordered a copy of this. I found it on the Bed Bath & Beyond website. I don't know if they do like instant printing or whatever, but I ordered it from there and then just this gold frame from Amazon. So I need to find the right place for this, but I'm so excited to have this in the living room somewhere. And then here is how the little record player station looks now that I have added all of my albums. So I'm really happy with this and I've already used it so much since it's been more accessible as well. So that's so nice. And then speaking of music over here, I have set up my violin station. Um, to practice my violin. I added this little green chair that used to be part of my desk setup and I think it'll work really well. So I put my music stand here and my violin. A little worried about all of the sunlight on it. It's definitely going to go out of tune, but my plants are absolutely loving the sun. This is a very sad yellow leaf here. I need to cut off of this monstera, but they're loving all the sunshine in here. So this is just such a nice little inviting area. It makes me want to come practice. And then this is my little dining table setup. This was my great grandmother's dining table. So I'm so um, honored to have it here with me. My dad brought this over for me over the weekend and walked through the rain to bring it up here. So I was very thankful for that. And I think it looks so good with the chairs I found from the vintage store. So a few of these I've already used a little bit of furniture wax on. So I'm going to show you how that works on one of them because I saved one to show you. So I'm actually going to work on that now, but I really like how this fits in the space. I do want to add maybe some chair cushions or something just to break up all of the wood tones, but I think it's really pretty. So what I'm using to kind of clean these old chairs up is Howard Feed and Wax. I heard about this from Drew Scott from Lone Fox, who is like my go-to resource for all things like home decor. So this one I've already used this product on and this one I have not. You can see that the tone is a lot warmer on this chair. I would say it looks a little warmer on the camera than it does in real life. And I have noticed that the seats on two of these chairs have been replaced, so the tone will look a little bit different. Um, when it's all cleaned up, but I think this really helps to just give it a clean and kind of shining new look But still retaining that beautiful vintage character. So I'm going to get to work on this one I'm just gonna use some paper towels I think you probably should use maybe more like a microfiber cloth or something, but this will work for me So you can see here now that I finished this, they do have a bit of a variance in the wood tone, but I think it will look really beautiful um, once this one is dried and everything is all together. I also think that if I add some cute little seat cushions, it will help to disguise that replaced wood in the seats, but I'm really happy with the way these chairs look. Now, one little thing that's kind of random that I got for the kitchen is this little magnetic hook for my fridge so that my calendar could go here. I have two Rival Paper Company calendars. This one was from my brother-in-law for Christmas. And so I thought I'd put one on the fridge and then I have more of like a desk style calendar that I will do 
with my computer desk once I get that set up. All right, friends, I think this is where I will leave you for this first episode of this apartment series. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like to see more, I am hoping that in the next installment, my sofa will come in and also my bookshelf, which I've ordered. So I'm waiting on those two things right now, which I think will really help with this room to come together. I won't sit on the floor quite so much, but I do love sitting on this rug because it's incredibly soft. But thank you so much for watching and spending your time on my channel today. And I will update you with a new installment as I have some updates construction going on in the hallway right now but thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video bye up in the sky all but laughing out loud I'm telling you why I'm living the life just me myself and I I used to think that life was cold